What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be installing a DC to DC converter with a relay on an EasyGo TXT PDS golf cart. I just got done installing a lithium battery in this golf cart and the customer, which is my cousin, he only has lights on his golf cart. He doesn't have like underglow. He doesn't have a radio, no stereo, no big system, no extra lights. He only has headlights and taillights. However, they don't ride their golf cart very often. If you install a basic DC to DC converter, like this right here, you only have four wires. You have input and output, that's it. Over a period of time, this right here will drain the battery. Okay? So that's why we're gonna introduce a relay into the system. So this right here relay is a 36 volt relay, 40 amps. Okay, and we're going to turn this relay on and off with the key switch of the golf cart. Now, if you install a DC to DC converter onto the golf cart by itself without a relay, when you're sleeping, when you're at work, when you're at school, when you're at church, any time that you're away from a golf cart, this is going to convert 48 or 36 volts to 12 volts. It's always converting the pack voltage down to 12 volt output. It does not matter. So it doesn't matter if you're using the lights or not. It doesn't matter if the golf cart's on or off. If you use this DC to DC converter, it's always converting pack voltage to 12 volt output. And over a time, it will drain the battery down. Usually it's when you want to take that golf cart riding, but you can't because the batteries are drained. So that's why we introduced the 36 volt relay. Now the relay is a four pin relay here, 40 amp output. Okay, this has four terminals across the bottom. Very simple, I'm gonna explain everything real quick. Think of a regular on and off switch. It has two terminals, right? Well, that's a manual switch. So let's just say we took away this terminal and we took away that terminal. There's your manual switch right there. That's the same as your on and off switch. But those switches require your fingers to turn them on and off. This right here relay is an electromagnetic switch. So it means it takes 36 volts for the coil to operate this right here and this right here contact. What that means is this is pin 86, this is pin 85, okay? With that being said, if I give this 36 volts here and I give this ground here, this top pin here, this bottom pin here would then have continuity. Right now, there's no continuity between this top pin and this bottom pin. It's kind of like the switches in the off position. Okay, once we put 36 volts here and ground here, you'll then have continuity between there and there. Another cool thing to think about here and let you know is this right here works backwards. So you can put power here and ground here, or you can put power here and ground here. That does not matter. Okay, this right here goes in line of your DC to DC converter. That's it. So the DC to DC converter, red is power input, Black is ground input, okay? When I said it goes in line, we're not gonna worry about this yellow and black wire just yet, okay? Because that's just gonna go to the lights. That's all that's gonna work. We would take this black wire here, carry it straight to the battery's ground, okay? You just put a ring terminal on there, put it on there, and that's done. Say this right here had a ring terminal on it and it was going directly to the battery. Basically, it was connected to the battery. And when I say it goes in line, that means you would just chop it in half. You would put one side of that red wire to the top pin here. You'd put the other side of that red wire to the bottom pin here. That means when the key is in the off position of the golf cart, this right here does, is not energized and it does not have any continuity. Once this is energized between the key switch here has positive and negative going into it, and this is energized, then this right here has continuity and your DC to DC converter is now working. All right, before I go ahead and install everything, I want to kind of explain everything again, what we have. Number one, yellow is output, black here is output, and this right here is going to the headlight portion. That's it. Now the black wire on the DC converter and the black wire that goes into pin 86 here of the relay, they both need ground. So I just have them both tied together on pin 86 
and run one ground wire and that's it. So we do this instead of having to run two individual ground wires, but they have to be connected and they are connected inside of this right here terminal. Your red wire here is going to pin 30 of the relay here. The bottom pin and this top wire here, this is going to the battery input. And I will place a fuse on here before we put it onto the battery. This red wire here is going to be our trigger lead. So when the cart is in the on position, the relay itself, it has power. That means that the pin 87 and pin 30, you know, the bottom pin and the top pin, they both have continuity. So the switch is on. But right now, since this right here doesn't have ground and this doesn't have power, the switch is off. Pretty simple, guys. It's very simple. Okay, the yellow and black wire leaving the DC to DC converter. Yellow's going to the power. Ground's going to the ground of the lights there. This portion of the system is done. These right here, DC to DC converters, those screw holes there to mount it, they're very close to the body of the mechanism. And generally, the screws that I like to use rubs up against them. Sometimes I like to just drill two holes and use a wire tie to wire tie it in place. Now that the wire tie is on here, puck converter isn't going anywhere. The relay is not going anywhere either. Obviously, you have two wires going to the relay from the puck converter, but it's also going through the top of the relay there as well. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap some of these right here wires up and tighten them up. We don't need all of this extra wire here. We want to just make it look as best as we can. All right, so I ran the wire, put it in some wire loom, ran it in front of the battery here. Have it popping out. Power is going into the red. Ground's going into the green. I got just one more power wire here. Going to need to run this up to the front of the golf cart to the uh, key to input there. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do here. I need to take a drill bit, pop both of these right here rivets out down here so it can gain access to the dash there. So here's the deal about the EasyGo PDS golf carts here. So we get the power coming in on the F and R switch here in the middle, and you're gonna have power on it all the time. So right now, with the golf cart off, this middle wire here, it has power on it. The key switch does not have power on either one of these right here, right now, okay? They only have power on them once you turn the key switch to forward or reverse. All right, so the key switch is off. The F and R selector switch is in neutral. So I'm gonna show you how this works here. On the meter, I have my negative connector going to an alligator clip that's going to the negative portion of the battery. On this right here side of the switch, there's no voltage on this side. There's no voltage on this side of the switch. The switch only has voltage on there if it's in forward or reverse, so nothing here. Then we got 39.8 volts there. See, forward. If we put it in neutral, we touch that terminal again, nothing, the voltage goes down. We put it in reverse, we have voltage again. So we're gonna connect the power wire from the relay for the uh, uh, coil portion of the relay to this wire right here. This is the own wire, okay? Just because this one had power during our test there, that just lets us know that this right here is for the off. But if it was for own, and we put it in forward, then we would have power on both legs of the switch. So we got power input there and we got power output there. And this right here, the one that we only have power on it with the switches on, is going to be the one that we connect to the relay. See, it's off now. No power. Should be on here at all. And there's none. So this right here is the wire that we're going to connect to the relay side to turn everything on and off. So the red wire leading the split loom going down underneath the golf cart 
and it's coming up through the firewall here. Instead of using like a back tap with this wire, I just removed the terminal. I put a little bit larger terminal, so I put both of those wires together, crimped them in there. Now we turn the golf cart on. You can automatically hear the relay over here click. Now let's say we wanted to turn the lights on. Well, see there's no lights on now. Lights are on now. This is the light switch right here. Let's say you forget to turn the lights off, okay? You forget to turn the lights off on the golf cart. Well, as soon as you kill the switch power here, the lights turn off. The reason they turn off is because the DC, DC converter down here, it turned off as well. And that's exactly why we put the relay on there is to kill power to the DC to DC converter so it doesn't need to work when the golf cart's off. And by doing that, you know, this battery right here will not drain, you know, at nighttime or while you're at work or while you're sleeping or wherever you're at. It will only draw power when the key switch is turned on when you're using the golf cart. These are the exploding rivets I use. I can get them off of Amazon and I'll place links in the description below for all the parts I used in today's video. Use a rivet gun to secure them in place and you're done.